really enjoyed it because I learned a lot of little things about my MacBook, even though I've had one since college, that I didn't even know existed and just new things that are on the MacBooks that I've never realized. Um, so I'm going to share with you a couple of things that I took notes on. Our assignment was to share six things that we learned. And the first thing I'm going to share, well, right now is doing a quick time screen recording so I can talk and actually point and move things around my screen that you are able to see and listen to me while I do it. Um, the other thing that I learned about was the website that I'm on right now, Evernote, and it allows me to take notes while um, Anne and Jenny are presenting, which I thought was really cool. So the first thing that I took a note on was the screenshots, which I knew that you could always take screenshots, but every time that I want to do it, I have to Google uh, how to do it because I can't ever remember. But today I have done it enough where I think that I would be able to remember. So in order to take a screenshot, you hit Shift Command 3, and that will take a shot of your entire screen, the whole thing. Say there's just a part of your screen that you want to take a shot of, you use Shift Command 4, and then you can just take a small part. So it would be like this box down here that I took a shot of so that I could remember what screen I needed. So that was the second thing I learned. The third thing that I thought was cool was the um, speech preferences. So this allows um, your students to highlight an article and it would actually read it to them. And what I really like, this is located in your system preferences, is that I downloaded the voice Javier and there is a girl voice Paulina and you can find articles that are in Spanish and it's actually a very authentic voice that reads the entire article to the student in Spanish. So this could be beneficial to a Spanish teacher who wants an article read, or it could also be beneficial to an ELL teacher as well when the student is having troubles reading in English and they want to hear it in Spanish, they can have both the English and Spanish articles up. So I thought that was really cool. Um, we also worked with the screen zoom, so you can take your screen and zoom into certain sections. There is the force quit option, command, and escape. So if you ever get that lovely little circle, rainbow circle of death that I like to call, um, option, command, escape forces the quit out of something. We learned about smart folders, so you can take different items and search it, say I label documents chapter 1 Spanish 2. So everything that I've labeled chapter 1 Spanish 2 can then be put into one folder automatically. It dumps it in there for me. And I can also color code that folder for later. Um, they showed us a video on Sir Kim Robinson, which was very, very funny, and talks about how throughout education we lose our creativity, which I can tell you is very true as a student and also as a teacher. Um, I'm in my sixth year teaching this year, and I can already tell each year I feel like I lose my creativity. And I felt like I really, really lost my project-based type of mind three years ago when we went into the new curriculum. My first three years teaching, I was coming up with awesome projects and um, trying new things in the computer lab and doing all this fun stuff. And then with our new curriculum, everything was given to us. And everything is given to us where we feel very rushed to get through our curriculum and I think coming to this workshop and doing things where I feel like it's okay that I can still have that creative mind definitely helps me so I'm hoping that I can take a few ideas back from here that I can implement into my classroom to make me feel like I 
still have a creative control in my room. And the last thing we went over is QuickTime, which is awesome in Spanish. If all of my kids had an iPad, I could use QuickTime, or a computer, I could use QuickTime daily. I'm also very excited because my master's is in counseling, and I'm in my practicum this year, and I have to do a lot of recordings of myself and upload them for my professor and all that good stuff, so... I'm excited that I've had the time to actually learn QuickTime and develop my skills on this. So I am very excited for tomorrow's session and for my next four classes that I have left of Apple training. This is Carly Rylander. Adios.